Hi. Well, it's going to rain until the middle of the week outside, though the sun's trying to peek out right now, but I don't dare pull the tarps off those machines. So I'm stuck inside doing things. And what I have here is that back plate that I'm going to mount the uh, 8 inch uh, four trot chuck to. This is the back plate that came with that uh, bow star. Thing. And I'm going to mount that Bowstar uh, chuck to uh, my dividing head back plate, so um, I think that'll be more useful. But I wanted to show the electronic touch probe. And these things have always been controversial, and some people have had extremely bad luck with them. I don't uh, hear a whole lot about them, but I find the thing very useful and a few other people I, I know do too. But there's a little trick to using it. And I'll show that to you. I'll get it if I can reach it. I'll have to come right in front of you. Okay. This is uh, an Accurite electronic touch probe. And uh, just like anything, they can't make that perfect. And um, if you stick it in your spindle, well, that might not be perfect either. But in this case, we got a near perfection uh, spindle with a more jig bore and an adjustable collet chuck for run out. So the one thing left to do is to find the high spot on this touch probe. And the touch probe is spring loaded so you don't break it or hopefully not. So you got to use a dial indicator. It doesn't have too much uh, pressure. And I think the one I ended up using was an old um, compact or a, oh, one of those like, like that had very little spring pressure, 10th rating. And I found the high spot and I marked it right here with some ink. So I'm going to stall this in the spindle and uh, center this uh, chuck uh, back plate. Okay, let's, let's try that. Okay, I'm going to get it so I can get it in a spindle. I think you can see the DRO and everything. Oh, I sure hope that worked out. Okay. Now I got it in this collar chuck here. Yeah, I only need to get it just pretty snug with fingers, okay? So that's the high spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it down and I'm going to approximate just where center is on the X and Y. We'll do the, uh, I mean, on the X axis. So I'll approximate that and then I'll uh, uh, touch it on the Y axis here. So, okay, I'm going to go um, Y center line. And it says inner first edge. So I got the high spot of the, of the uh, touch bow. So let's get over there. I might have to drop it down a little. And you want to clean your part pretty much. And if you see, watch the DRO, and as soon as that touches, it's going to tell me to um, um, enter the uh, opposite edge. Maybe it didn't. No, it's not quite there. See, inner second edge. Okay, so back it off. Then you turn that high spot. Uh, that's okay. Get that over here. Turn that high spot, which is opposite of the cord, which is handy, on that back side there. Okay, let's get that over. Okay. Now the DRO is just going to uh, pop back on when it touches. Is it supposed to see? Okay, now go to the center. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to paint, uh, point the high spot um, to this side on the x-axis. 
we're going to hit um, X center line. And it'll automatically enter I can see it better this way when it's going to touch. See? Okay. In a second edge. So back it up. Spin it around. And get that high spot pointing in the right way. Okay, when it touches the Y part of the DRO, we'll pop back on. See? Okay, now we'll pull that to center. It's really easy to go uh, too far when you're in tents. Go! <laughs> Can I chase it? There's a little bit of oil on the ways and it uh, makes it a little harder. Okay, let's take that out. We'll set it back in the holder I got up here. Don't change the collar. Let's put in Old Faithful on it, and then a rapid. And I get that right there, huh? Right there. <laughs> this um, arm is a little tight in the 3-8's collar. Okay, that should be good. Let's get it in there. Okay. Let's see if I can get it on there pretty good. <clears throat> on there. Okay, I'll move you in so you can see. Okay, hopefully you can see pretty darn good if I get your clothes. Uh, I've got a lot of knobs on this tripod. <laughs> okay, I'm going to scooch you in a little closer. Okay. Now let's roll that around. I get that on a number. If I possibly can. I can see it a little better. I'll push it right back where it was. Here, I'm going to take it loose. Let's really have a look at that. Okay, let's swing it all the way over here. It's showing one half thousandths difference. Uh, actually, it's not now that the point's going in. <laughs> See? It's just a notch from zero. All right. Well, I think I didn't have it quite right. Let's try that out. Let's swing it around. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot that. Hold on. Get you back on here. Huh? And uh, let's get back a little bit here. Okay, I'll get that out. There we go. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I got the um, tap drill for the uh, 7 16th uh, coarse thread uh, um, mounting bolts I got to put in there. I got to put four. Then I got to set it. Uh, I'll set it on the bolt circle function on the, on the digital readout and punch these holes. Maybe I'll show that because it's kind of fun to uh, use a jig board. And uh, one thing I'm going to do here, 
Uh, I don't know if I've got the right stuff at hand. I do. There we go. Let me get that. These uh, Ericsson collets are a little bit of a pain because they release. They're not like ER, so the tool wants to fall out. Let's see if I got, I don't quite yet. Per perfect. Okay. Now, what I've done, I'm going to snug it good, is, um, I can grab drill bits by the margins, by the flutes, with these Ericsson collets, and they run true. They're designed to do that. Um, I think the ERs do that, uh, but I haven't tried that yet with them. But the Ericssons for sure do. Okay, I'll <clears throat> come back and set up the bolt circle pattern on the DRO, and we'll punch it. Okay, thanks for checking it out.